Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today we are potting up. Hang on. Today we are potting up canna tubers or bulbs or rhizomes, whatever you call them. And I've already got three planted up, and I thought that this would be a good video for anyone who is unsure about how to get their cannas woke up. If you're buying them in store and they come in that bag or a box or whatever and you open up the box and you're like, what the heck do I do with this? I'm going to show you what to do with it. So these are cannas that I dug up last year from my garden. These cannas I've been using for about two years. Okay. So first thing you want to have is a pot relative to the size of your tuber, but this year I am doing something different because I'm trying to save space and not have 10 million pots all over the place. So I'm actually going to over plant these pots. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One, because I want to experiment and see how it goes. And then two, to save space. So first thing you want to do is I use a coffee filter to help keep the soil in the pot when I'm planting. So I put this down to cover up those holes. It lets water out but holds the soil. Um, and if you use this for like a plant house plants or whatever, you can use the coffee filter too to cover the drain hole. The coffee filter will eventually break down, but at that point you should not be losing a ton of soil when you water. Okay. Anyway, so let's get started. Here is my soil bucket. I use this um, for pretty much everything except for when I'm planting plants um, outside. If I'm planting things, I just use soil bags that are outside. So anyway, this is what I use for in the house. So I'm going to fill this pot halfway up with soil. So it's halfway full with soil. Now I'm going to add my canna tubers. Here's one tuber. It is giant. I did not bother cleaning off all the roots, I suppose. So I'm going to stick this right down in the middle, squish it right down in there. You can see. And then I have some baby ones that I'm just going to shove around into any open spots of soil. Another baby one. Another small one. And here's what it looks like. You can't see any soil. I've got it all covered. And what I'm going to do now is add soil to the top of this. I know that this will get root bound quickly. This pot will get stuffed really quickly. That's fine. This will go out in the garden in May. So really it would only have about maybe two months in here and it'll take it at least a month to really like wake up, get rooted, get growing. So I think this will be a really, really good experiment. So just like with the elephant ear bulbs, you want to be conservative with how much water you give them. The first watering should be a thorough, saturating, fully saturating water. And then after that, you want to be um, very sparse with the water. So just a little quick rundown. If the top of the soil is dry, go ahead and stick your finger in there. See if it's dry a couple of inches down. If it is, go ahead and give it a watering to cover the top of the soil 
but not necessarily to have the water draining out of the pot because if the top few inches are dry, there is probably moisture still down in this bottom area. So definitely, definitely be cautious with the water until you see growth above the soil. Once there is foliage above the soil, the plant will be able to photosynthesize and the roots will be able to take up that water and be able to dry the soil out appropriately. And at that point, you can go ahead and give full waterings. Once you see foliage above the soil line, you can also start using a diluted fertilizer. Um, I like to use fish fertilizer. I dilute it down um, quite a bit. And then once the plants are outside in the pots and they're, you know, in sunlight and all that, then you can go ahead and use a regular strength fertilizer. That's usually what I do. I'm trying to think if, there, if there's anything else I want to tell you. Um, cannas are full sun plants, but they can grow really well and flower in a part shade. They do like to be fertilized. You can collect canna seeds at the end of the season or whenever their seed pods dry out. Those seeds are great. They germinate really well. So that's a, another way to keep your um, garden costs down and to, you know, extend, you know, stretch your, stretch your money, I guess. Stretch your garden funds. So yeah. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.